What's up, everyone? My name is Dr. Daniel Ricciardi, gut health expert, licensed pharmacist, and fitness enthusiast. I help clients with bloating, gas, and other digestive issues so they can look and feel their best. Last week, I made a video called Can You Become Dependent on Betaine HCL? If you haven't seen it already, go check it out. Toward the end of that video, I made a comment that you should start with only one capsule of Betaine HCL with pepsin, and from there, you can increase it, but do it in a certain particular manner. This video is actually gonna discuss the best way to take betaine HCL with pepsin, how to increase and decrease the dose, and some other important considerations as well. Betaine HCL with pepsin, which is probably the way it's more commonly found, it usually comes in a capsule form, and it's meant to just increase the amount of acidity here in the stomach. And by doing that, a lot of the times it can help with symptoms such as bloating, belching, indigestion, and even heartburn. If you're wondering if maybe you do have low stomach acid, a quick way to get a decent estimate, if that's true, is you take a quarter teaspoon of baking soda and mix it in with four ounces, which is about 120 milliliters. Mix it in with that amount of cold water first thing in the morning when you wake up and drink that. If it takes you more than three minutes to start burping after drinking this liquid, it's possible that you may have too low or an insufficient amount of stomach acid. If it takes less than the three minutes, then it's more likely that you do have a sufficient amount of stomach acid. Again, there's some gray area, but this is just a rough tool estimate to get a sense of where you stand. For betaine HCL with pepsin, it is always a good idea to do it under the supervision of an expert that knows what they're doing with it. But if you want to give this a try on your own, I'd recommend doing it in the following manner. All right, first thing, start with only one capsule, always. Guys, please be patient with this. Even if it seems like you have to take the maximum dose of every single pill you take, still start with one on this one and be patient, ease your way into it. Take this capsule in the middle of each meal, which is also very important. And to help you understand why, we'll look at why it's bad to take at the end of a meal and also not good to take in the beginning of a meal either. To answer first why taking it at the end of a meal can be bad. So taking it at the end of a meal, if you try to rinse it down with a little bit of water, it's possible that this pill, this small pill that contains uh, basically powdered stomach acid, can get stuck and not make it all the way down your esophagus. If this pill opens up, which the capsule of the pill is designed to hold it for a little bit, but not that long. If it opens up in your esophagus, it's gonna be incredibly painful. You're gonna get a burning sensation like acid reflux. To avoid this, if you take it in the middle of the meal, the bites of food that you have after you take the pill are gonna be able to push that capsule down all the way through the esophagus into the stomach, and you should not have this happen. Next, for explaining why taking it before the meal can be bad as well. We have to understand that our body uses what are known as negative feedback loops. This means that the body is always trying to rebalance and recalibrate itself depending on what happens to it. Therefore, if you take this betaine HCL capsule or capsules too early and they reach the stomach, the stomach may sense it and say, nope, we're actually good on stomach acid now. We're not gonna send out any of our own that we produce right here. By taking betaine HCL in the middle of the meal, you get the bonus of having both getting what your body can normally produce in terms of stomach acid and getting the stomach acid from the supplement. Another factor to keep into consideration is to only take this betaine HCL supplement with meals that contain a decent supply of protein in them. And when I say decent, I'd probably say roughly 20 to 25 grams. This product is specifically designed to assist with digesting protein. Therefore, if you're having just a small snack, maybe something like a bowl of fruit, something along those lines, I would not suggest taking this supplement for that meal or snack. Okay, now that you know how to take it and with which type of meals to take it with, let's look at how to taper up and increase the dosage. So we know we're starting with one capsule in the middle of a meal containing a decent amount of protein. After you take the capsule between maybe five minutes to an hour after you take it, if you notice a warming, burning sensation around the sternum, if you've had heartburn before, you definitely know what I'm talking about. If you have that happen, I would discontinue the betaine HCL for the rest of the day. And if that happened on the first capsule, there's a decent chance that you probably don't need it at all. If you do not have any discomfort after taking that one capsule in the middle of a protein containing meal, you can keep doing that same one capsule per dose per meal for the next two days. 
If no discomfort is felt in the sternum around the chest area over here for any of those doses, after two days, you can increase the dose to two capsules per dose in the middle of the meal. Continue this progression by adding one capsule per meal every two days, as long as no chest or heartburn burnings type sensation here is being felt. And you can go up to a maximum of actually eight capsules per day. This is a very upper limit, so if you get here and you still don't feel anything, definitely do not continue going higher. If a heartburn sensation is noticed while you're taking a dose between two capsules and eight capsules per day, discontinue taking the betaine HCL for the rest of that particular day and the next day. And then the following day, you can resume, but do it at one capsule fewer than the dose that caused you the symptoms. This is probably super confusing, so I'm gonna give you an example right here to look at, and hopefully it makes a little bit more sense. All right, this is you right here, maybe struggling with some belching, and you're looking to take something to boost stomach acid. Day one, you're over here, you take one capsule per meal, and you have no heartburn that day or the next day. So on day three, you increase it to two capsules per dose per meal. And again, you have no heartburn. You do that for two more days. You go on to day five now, and still you have no heartburn after taking three capsules per meal. But then on day seven, you increase to four capsules per meal. And you notice while you're eating kind of toward the end of the meal, you do have that burning sensation around your stomach, and it happens during breakfast. So for this, you take no more betaine HCL for the rest of that day seven, and you also are gonna avoid it completely. You're gonna rest on day eight as well. And then finally on day nine, we are gonna to reduce to taking three capsules per meal. This is our maximum tolerable dose because when we tried doing four, we had symptoms. We're gonna stay at this dosage until the root cause of our digestive issues is resolved. And then tapering downwise, all right, let's say you fixed the issue that was causing you problems in the first place, and now we want to see if we can discontinue off of this betaine HCL. So after that digestive issue is resolved, we can try reducing a similar way than the way we tapered up. So we're gonna reduce by one capsule per dose per meal. We're only gonna do this a little bit slower than we did tapering up. We're gonna reduce by one capsule every week instead of every two days. This just gives us a better way to kind of gauge how our digestion is responding due to each dose change. Important, your body will not become dependent on betaine HCL with pepsin. I discussed this in my video last week. And tapering off will not cause any withdrawal symptoms. If you're considering a trial with betaine HCL with pepsin, if you are struggling with digestive issues, hopefully this video was helpful and answered a few questions on what you should do. If you're new to my channel, I post a full length video every Monday at 6 p.m. Central Time. Thank you very much for watching and have a great week.